All right. <laughs> We're live. What's up, guys? This is Damon Smith. And uh, I believe this is my first ever YouTube video. I did not plan on doing this tonight. Uh, as you can see, I'm done early for the evening. So I put on like old beat up shirt that I wear around the house. Like you can see, it's a Millennium Falcon shirt. Any people out there, I don't even have to ask. If you know what a Millennium Falcon is, then yeah. Anyway, um, <laughs> I'm inspired, guys. I um, put this off for far too long. This is not going to be a long video. This is just going to be me sharing uh, something that's worked for me. So if you're at a point in your life where <sighs> maybe you're stuck, um, you're not making the progress you want, you feel in a rut, you might be unhappy, you may know that there's more in you and you just can't get it out of you. I'm going to briefly just show you something that's worked for me. I, I think personal development is kind of like personal training and personal fitness, personal diet. It's personal. So not one thing is going to work for everybody. So I'm just going to share what works for me. And um, if you think it works for you, definitely um, leave me leave me a comment and let me know, and I'll continue to share as uh, many things as possible. I pull from a lot of great leaders: Jim Rohn, uh, Tony Robbins, Brandon Bouchard, um, Grant Cardone, Brian Tracy, Les Brown, Holton Bugs, David E. Monite, uh, Eric Worre, Network Marketing Pro, Gary Vandercheck. Just to name a few. In the Bitcoin space, Andreas Antonopoulos, John McAfee, and Roger Ver. It's so many, so many um, names. In the fitness world, Big Brandon Carter. Um, uh, who's the other guy? I can't think, I can't think of off the top of my head. Anyway, this is about personal development and more specifically, how do you make concrete change in your life? Hopefully I'm looking directly at the camera. Right. How do you make concrete change in your life? Um, I read a book years ago that I got from my father, who is a pastor. Uh, he and my mother have been serving in ministry for years, 30 plus, probably close to 40. 21 years at one church and uh, 14 at the current church. And they taught my brothers and I amazing stuff. I'm the oldest of two younger brothers and um, I love my family and we've done we've just done wonderful things but anyway he gave me this book called Today Matters by John C. Maxwell who's arguably the leading authority on leadership all right hopefully years later this won't haunt me my first video <laughs> hair's not brushed unshaved janky shirt I'm just inspired to share this <laughs> anyway this book called Today Matters by John C. Maxwell. There was a quote in that book that John C. Maxwell quoted Benjamin Franklin that stuck with me for years. And this is from Benjamin Franklin. Benjamin Franklin said, One today is worth two tomorrows. What I am to be, I am now becoming. All right, I'll say that again. One today is worth two tomorrows. What I am to be, I am now becoming. So basically what he's saying in that quote is, what you do today matters, is the title of the book. Today matters twice as much as tomorrow because tomorrow's not here yet. And what you do today actually compounds into tomorrow. That's why today matters so much. So how do we get as much out of the day um, as possible without just absolutely losing our mind because in today's age I mean your mind can be so many things to do soon as you wake up if you don't have a strategic plan for that day then it could crumble right before you you're going to be at the whim of your boss your job your co-workers your email your cell phone ringing a text message all if you don't have a strategic plan then it's just not gonna happen and so 
what I learned uh, years ago and I developed and developed and developed. All these great leaders have their planner that they that they use, and I've taken like the best this worked for me. Some stuff you leave out. Um, and I heard John C. Maxwell say, "You can't do everything every day, but you can do the most important things." And so, what I developed um, from the best of all these guys is something that works for me. And I would like for you to take one or all of it that you that you find interesting and try it out and see what happens. I, I think you'll be amazed because when you do it consistently, you're like, wow, you wake up with such freedom. Discipline is the ultimate freedom, right? It, it really is. Um, there's a famous German theologian. His name is Rudolf Otto. He said, discipline is the ability to do what needs to be done when it needs to be done. All right, that's uh, Rudolf Otto, famous German theologian, and I got that quote from uh, one of my father's uh, mentors and pastors, the late, great Dr. Matt King Carter. Anyway, discipline is the ability to do what needs to be done when it needs to be done. I'm pretty sure that I got it from him. I hope I did. Maybe I, maybe I misquoted it. But anyway, so a lot of people think of, of self-discipline as this bad thing. Like, you know, if, if, I, if I wake up every day, I don't want to live by some planner, you know. I don't want to have to live by this, this rule book every day that says I have to do things at a certain, day, a certain way and I don't have a lot of freedom. But really, when you have a structured plan and a structured day, that equals the ultimate freedom. And I'm going to show you what I mean. What I developed was um, you have to have a life goal, right? You have to have like a main goal. You have to have sub goals. You have to do all those kind of things. But they have to be in certain categories of your life, okay? So without going into super, super great detail, I would just say this. Start out with 12-month goals. I, I mean, if this was work for me, um, some people say do a 10-year goal and then break that down into a 5-year goal, then break that down into a 3-year goal, and then break those down into 1-year goals. I think it's amazing, yes. Uh, but a good starting point for someone who's maybe never done goals or maybe you find yourself flat, kind of out of it, just come up with three to five, you know, seven, ten max, three, five, seven, ten, max, ten max of goals you want to have accomplished within one year. And um, what kind of categories? I learned this from Ty Lopez, a real simple way of doing it. Health, wealth, love, happiness. He calls it the four pillars of life. I think it's amazing. Health, wealth, love, and happiness. So put two goals in health. I want to be a certain weight. I want to look this way. Put two goals in wealth. I want to earn, um, you know, $500,000 year 2019. And also be able to buy my parents a home. All right? So now you're up to four goals for the year 2019. Now love, two goals. I want to meet the ultimate person of my dreams and start a family and then um, bring a child into this world. You know, that's, 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 you're up to six goals now. Two in health, two in wealth, two in love, and then the last two in happiness. I want to contribute because ha ultimate happiness has to do with growth and contribution. I got that from Tony Robbins. I want to contribute to the best charity I can find and I want to help my church build a new church or something. So now you have two goals in health, two goals in wealth, two goals in love, two goals in happiness. Eight goals for the year 2019. So what you do is, and there are planners out there to do this. Um, I, the best thing I found uh, that worked for me now, if you have a better way, definitely share. But I get blank sheet of paper, two blank spaces. And on the left side, I will write 
2019 year goals. Of course, the date up here. And I write down my eight goals. Write them every day. Then on this side, I write out my formula. All right? And um, that's really what this video is about, is the formula. And maybe one day I'll, I'll write it on the right whiteboard so you guys can see it. All right? Uh, I said this wasn't going to be long, so give me like two minutes. All right, so after you write down those goals on that side, um, this is the way you phrase it. You have to write it in the present. Got this from Bob Proctor, David E. Monitier, Alex Morton, a lot of famous Jason Brown, uh, Austin God Godfrey, I believe his name is, Gary McSween, all those guys. I am so happy and grateful now that I weigh 180 pounds of lean muscle. Thank you, God, is done. Write it like that. Second goal. I'm so happy and grateful now that I placed at my bodybuilding competition, 2019. Thank you, God, is done. Goal three. Now we're into wealth. I'm so happy and grateful now. I earn $100,000 a month with my current company. Thank you, God, is done. Goal four. I'm so happy and grateful now that I'm able to buy my parents their dream home by my father's birthday, April 30th, 2019. Thank you, God, is done. I write all of those down every day. It takes literally five minutes, all right? Especially if you have eight goals for the year. So at the top of the page, I write, I am so happy and grateful now, and then one through eight, and just write out the things. On the second side of the page, and uh, I'll make this really, really quick, I found out that, especially with being a musician, uh, I teach music, I play music, that in order to learn a difficult piece of music, it takes time. If it's super hard, sometimes it takes weeks. And the only way you do it is you chip away at it every single day by going through the same set of processes, the same set of practice. You have to practice a phrase over and over and over until it becomes second nature until it becomes effortless. Kenny Warner wrote a book called Effortless Mastery. He talked about how you do something slow to fast and you become a master at it. And so what I did was I figured out that if I can win the mornings, like Tim Ferriss says, it's like five things he does every day. Every day. As soon as he gets out of bed, he makes his bed. <laughs> That's a win. There's a book out there called Make Your Bed by one of the top military generals of all time. He talked about how when you wake up in the morning, make your bed. That's a win. And so I figured out that there's about three to five things that if I do soon as I wake up, my morning just takes off. And then when I leave the house about an hour and a half or two hours later, I am ready for the day. I mean, it really works. And if I don't get those things done, sometimes the day just takes longer to really start to work for me. Okay. And so what I do is I write... A daily formula on the second page and I like to think of it as an algorithm because the way algorithms work uh, there's a great book called algorithms for life and it, it's, act, it's actually phenomenal um, Elon Musk and a lot of uh, Richard Branson guys like that they run their lives based on a set of algorithmic algorithmic principles um, so in a traditional algorithm it's math. All right, we're at 14 minutes. I'm going to make it quick. <laughs> there's a, there's a, um, uh, in math, algorithms is a set of numbers, and those numbers fit together in an equation to get an outcome. And we know that in math, you don't have to use the same formula to get an answer. You can use a different formula to get an answer. And so in your daily formula, formula your daily algorithm, there's a set of letters, all right? Each letter represents a word, right? Each word represents a phrase, and each phrase represents a specific action, okay? I, I will break this down in another video, but I'm telling you when, you, when you get this, it's phenomenal. I teach private lessons. I have a student who's doing it now, and we had a two-hour lesson at his home and when I left, his mom called me later and she said, oh my goodness, when you left, 
he went up and completely cleaned his room and he's cleaning the entire house. Because I took him through that and he really, under, it clears your brain when you know what you need to do during the day. And this is not like making a to-do list because when you make a to-do list, who, who, who understands that you can get the outcome sometimes without doing the stuff on your to-do list. So clearly the to-do list is not what matters. What matters is the outcome. Tony Robbins talks about RPM, results, purpose, and uh, massive action. So we're looking for what is, what is the outcome that we want, what is the purpose that we're after. Okay, so in this algorithm, the first thing I have is something called UMR, and that's Ultimate Morning Ritual. Within this Ultimate Morning Ritual, I have three to five things that I do. Wake up in the morning, give gratitude, push-ups and crunches, make my bed, prayer, coffee time. That's it. Five things to win the day, all right? And then, um, and then I go into the day. So this algorithm, the next part of it is parentheses, and I have a letter. I have D, then I have another letter, C. What, what the heck does that mean? D represents drink water. It means that phrase means I'll drink 64 ounces of water. C means I'll clean. Does it mean I'll clean the whole house? No, I'll just kind of pick up. Maybe the dishwasher wasn't loaded the night before. Maybe, um, you know, my daughter left toys all over the place and we fell asleep. I'll pick those up, all right? And you go on through the algorithm. The good thing about the algorithm, just like math, if you miss one thing, let's say I woke up late and I don't get to do any of my morning ritual, uh, but I do grab water on the way out the door. Well, I'll get a check on the water part. Say I didn't get a chance to clean or I don't do anything. Go on through my day. Say I come back for during lunchtime. Um, I don't eat lunch because I intermittent fast. So uh, I don't eat for like 16 hours a day, 6 or 18, sometimes 20. So I come back during the day. And when you look at that formula, you look at that algorithm, where you are in the algorithm is way down the road. But you will ask yourself, what is the most important thing at this point in the algorithm? Should I forget about the stuff I missed in the morning and push forward to the other stuff? It depends on, it depends on what the demand is at that time. All right. If the demand for your day, if you've already taken care of that stuff at work, then just like the algorithm works, you can go back and pick that up. So what I would do at that point, I would come home, take my shoes off, make sure I got my 64 ounces of water. But you know what? I would do my 150 push-ups. I would do my 100 crunches. I would make my bed. I would clean, pick up a little bit. Right? See how it works? Um, so in the next video, maybe what I'll do is uh, actually write it out and show you guys my algorithm. This is going to be kind of crazy, but I'll go into detail. I can't see. It's probably too bright. Yeah, I think it's too bright. Yeah, it's too bright. So, my first YouTube video, we'll get it right next time. <laughs> so, anyway, hopefully the, hopefully this inspires somebody to write something down, okay? And I know life gets hectic. Maybe you don't get to do it the night before and let it seep into your subconscious mind while you sleep at night. It does work. But maybe do it first thing when you wake up, right? When you wake up, have a set of rituals that you do every day it doesn't mean your life has to be super structured but when you have that discipline I'm telling you the you can make progress in so many different areas of your life so again hope uh, this was valuable for somebody and yeah this is my first of many so thank you guys for taking the time to listen and be blessed God bless we'll talk to you soon <laughs>